ChatGPT crossed over 1 million users in less than five days. For context, it took WhatsApp two years, Instagram two years, and Snapchat one year to cross that milestone. So it's safe to say that ChatGPT is a pretty popular and potentially disruptive tool. If you're unfamiliar with ChatGPT, it's a conversational AI model that was created by OpenAI. OpenAI is the company that created the GPT-3 AI language module. GPT-3 stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer and is a type of language model that leans on machine learning and deep learning principles to create human-like copy and content through an API and natural language processing. So this is the AI model that most AI copywriters are built on and this is how they're able to create human-like content. OpenAI recently launched ChatGPT. The main difference between ChatGPT and GPT-3 is that when using ChatGPT, you're able to use the AI model in a more of a conversational way. So they've trained ChatGPT to interact in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So ChatGPT is a sibling model to instruct GPT, which is trained to promptly follow instructions and provide a detailed response. Unlike Jasper and other AI copywriters, at the time of recording this video, ChatGPT is completely free to use. Essentially, it's in a testing mode and we have the privilege to use this powerful AI for completely free. So in today's video, let's do a deep dive into ChatGPT. Let's take a look at its features, its functionalities, and make some predictions about how this AI will be used in the future and if it is a disruptor for the current AI copywriters in the market. So there's a couple of ways in which you can use ChatGPT. The first way is to use it to explain complex subject or concepts. So whatever subject or concept that you need to explain, just search that up on ChatGPT, click enter, and as you can see, the AI will start explaining that concept for you. For this example, I asked the AI to explain how the economy works. And as you can see, we got a nice explanation about the economy uh, and about how the economy works. The real beauty of ChatGPT is how easy it is to use. They've created this AI model to be conversational between the human and the AI. Let's say the first output that we got back was a little bit too complicated. I can ask the AI to explain it to a child. And as you can see, it'll simplify that explanation. So you're able to really um, speak to this AI like it's a person. So as you can see, ChatGPT is very easy to use. It's very conversational and it makes it very easy for you to guide the AI in the direction in which you would like it to go. So that's the first way in which you can use ChatGPT. You can have it explain complex subject matters. And keep in mind, if you're generating explanations, that um, this AI is trained on content up to 2021. The second way in which you can use ChatGPT is by using it like a traditional AI copywriter. For this example, we'll be asking the AI to write five blog post titles for an article about the best stocks to invest in if you're a teenager. Again, once we're happy with that command, hit enter. And as you can see, we got some nice titles in which we can choose here. And if you wanted to expand on that content, you can copy the title, paste it in here, and ask the AI to write a blog post intro for that title. So I asked the AI to write a blog post intro paragraph for a blog post about building a strong portfolio as a young investor. And let's click enter and see what we get back from this tool. And this is the intro in which we got back. I've read through it and it's actually a pretty good intro paragraph that you can use for an article. It's very relevant and gets straight to the point. And if you wanted to get a little bit creative with your outputs, you can ask the AI to write in a different type of voice. So for this paragraph, we don't need to mention that paragraph because the AI should know that we're talking about this paragraph. So I'll be asking the AI to write in the voice of Joe Rogan. Okay, so pretty cool. It's edited the intro um, and threw a little bit of Joe Rogan flair on there. And uh, it's pretty good. I'm very impressed by the output in which we were able to get back. So very cool stuff there. A couple of different ways in which you can generate content using this AI. Another way in which you can use this AI is by using it to generate any type of copy for your content marketing. The possibilities really are endless. You can use this tool to generate Instagram copy, Facebook ads, YouTube scripts, and so on. Again, all you have to do is enter that command in the chat box. So for this example, we'll be asking the AI to write a script for a YouTube video about GPT-3 technology. Wow, so this is the YouTube scripts in which we got back. And as you can see, it's very relevant, very in-depth. You can definitely use this script if you're creating a video about GPT-3 technology. 
The fourth and possibly the most important function of ChatGPT is the ability to fix and create code. I don't have much experience in coding, nor am I a software engineer, but I've seen examples of chat AI being able to create pages on websites, being able to create templates or widgets. And I've also seen it create a full scale website just by using this AI model. In addition to being able to create code, chat AI also allows you to fix errors in codes that you may have. So all you would have to do is enter your code within the chat box and chat GPT will find any errors and make any changes that needed to be made. Being a coder or a software engineer, I can only imagine how easy that would make your life. So I truly believe that that functionality will be the most important thing to come out out of chat GPT-3. And when it comes to disrupting or even replacing some of the most popular AI copywriters in the market, such as Jasper, I don't think that this AI will replace it. And that's simply because Jasper AI is built for users and built for content creators. So I really do believe that the function and the power of chat GP3 is the ability to create code and to um, fix errors in codes. I do see in the near future that top AI copywriters such as Jasper or Skillnut will introduce a chat GP3 model within their AI copywriters. So it'll be interesting to see how they can implement that and integrate that within their existing AI copywriters. So that's my opinion and rundown of chat GP3. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.